Getting started as an individual. Thank you for joining ChildSafeGuarding.com. I'm going to give you a brief overview of your ChildSafeGuarding.com individual account. To do this, I'm going to show you an existing individual account that will be able to show you certain elements of ChildSafeGuarding.com that you may interact with as an individual user. So let's start at the top and work our way down. This button at the top will take you to the start a course section towards the bottom of this page to take you directly to the courses themselves. In the account information section, you'll see information that we have about you and whether you are connected or not connected to an organization. If you connect to an organization, you will be able to use that organization's credits to take courses that they have given you access to. If you start a course on ChildSafeGuarding.com, you will be reminded that you have a limited amount of time to complete that course before the session is timed out. In the credits section, you'll be given information about the credits you purchase, the credits in progress, your completed credits, and the credits you have available to take courses. If you are connected to an organization, you will be given an indication here that you are able to use that organization's credits to take courses. If you purchase credits on your own, the credit information will be listed in these four boxes. Or, if at any time you would like to purchase credits to take courses on our system, just click the Purchase Credits button here. If you connect to an organization, the connection information will be listed here as well as the information about which courses you have access to take using the organization's credits. If you are not connected to an organization, you can either request access on this part of the page or the organization will send you an invitation link to connect to them. In this section, you will see an overview of the courses and the available languages for those courses on ChildSafeGuarding.com as well as the per credit cost in order to take those courses. For this particular learner, they have a course in progress, which means they cannot start a second course. In order to resume the course that they have already started, they will just click the resume button down here at the bottom. If the learner does not plan to complete the course, they can terminate their session by clicking on the box and clicking the terminate button here. Once they terminate their active session, they then have the opportunity to start a new course. To start a course, first, the learner will have to choose what the source of the credits will be, either from the organization they are connected to or credits that they purchased themselves. If the learner chooses organization credits, they will be limited to the courses that the organization has given them access to. If they use credits that they purchased themselves, they can choose any course that we have available on the system as long as they have enough credits available. Next, the learner will pick the course that they want to take and then the language in which they want to take the course in. After this, a start button will appear. The learner will just click the start button and they'll be taken directly to the course. In the Certificate and Sessions section of the dashboard, you as a learner will be able to access any certificate you have earned on ChildSafeGuarding.com. You'll see in your dashboard the word completed and then a link to your certificate. Just click on the certificate link and you'll be taken directly to your certificate. Certificates on ChildSafeGuarding.com are digital, which means they can be shared with others by either printing, downloading, or emailing and each of our certificates are individually serialized, which means they cannot be faked because organizations can take this serial number and put it into our verification system to verify authenticity. Your certificate is actually multilingual as well. It will be presented in the language in which you took the course, but can be changed to any language we have available for that course. And vice versa. If you take a course in a non-English language and you would like an English version of your certificate, simply choose English from the menu here and the certificate will change to English. Please remember that your certificate is valid for a limited time. To check the validity period of your certificate, just come down here and look for valid until. Your certificate can also be shared on social networks or added to your LinkedIn profile so that you can share with your professional colleagues that you have completed child protection training. 
If you have any further questions, please visit childsafeguarding.com or view our how-to videos. Again, thank you for joining childsafeguarding.com. We hope you enjoy your training. With your help, children will grow up healthy and safe.